We've got a couple of pretty big bumps for Donald Trump today. First off, let's start with the primaries. Nikki Haley could potentially lose the Nevada primary to the none of these candidates option, according to a new survey, an outcome that would threaten her hopes of defeating former President Donald Trump. See, in Nevada, on their primary ballot, none of the above is actually an option. And Haley might lose to literally no one. New polling released by Providence, a collaborative effort between uh, Reverse Solutions or Revere Solutions and Decipher AI, showed 59.2% of Nevada Republican primary voters saying they would select none of these candidates during the February 6 GOP primary election, compared to 40.8 who would choose Haley. Imagine losing to no one. Uh, the loss to essentially no candidate would ha would damper Haley's battle to remain in the 2024 primary after Trump won the Iowa caucuses by more than 30 points, 30 points in uh, New Hampshire and um, or sorry, in Iowa and uh, t uh, 11 points in New Hampshire. Uh, unlike the earlier nominating states, Nevada is unique in that it will hold both a primary and a caucus. However, the primary is being run by the state and is 100% irrelevant. A win in the primary is literally just bragging rights, but since she's not going up against Donald Trump, who is not in the primary, it doesn't matter. See, candidates can't participate in both. They can, only do, they can do either the caucus or the primary. Voters can do both. But the delegates come from the caucus. Somebody actually came into my comments a couple of weeks ago claiming that Donald Trump didn't register for the primary like that's some sort of own. Except that the primary doesn't matter. Donald Trump is going to get all of the delegates in Nevada because he's the only major candidate in the Nevada caucus. There's one other person who is struggling to get over half a percent support anywhere. They're the only two people in the caucus. Donald Trump will easily take all of Nevada, and Nikki Haley might lose to the empty chair. Uh, Trump is participating in the caucus on February 8th, which the state GOP will use to allocate delegates, not the primary. As the only major candidate running, Trump is expected to win the caucuses and the state's 26 delegates. The entire state, ladies and gentlemen, Haley chose to run in the February 6th primary, forfeiting the right to appear on the caucus ballot. Registered Republicans are allowed to participate in both the caucus and the primary. Here's my conclusion. If Nikki Haley's going to lose to no one, how can she beat Trump? How can she beat Joe? Biden. Revere Solutions CEO Woodrow Johnson, who is not affiliated with any presidential campaign, told the Washington Examiner, this whole narrative that she's the best candidate against Joe Biden is really just kind of shattered because it's like she can't uh, even beat literally no one. To be fair, I did skim this article. I did not get as far as that paragraph. I'm not stealing the guy's line, but he's not wrong. Let's see, but besides that, we also have news on the general election. It seems as though the Democrat Party is stuck between a very, very difficult rock and extremely dementia-ridden hard place. Breaking video from James O'Keefe, top White House cyber official, tells O'Keefe in disguise they can't say it publicly. The White House wants to replace Kamala Harris and confirms Joe Biden is in mental decline. Biden is definitely slowing down. I'm just telling you what I've heard. They're really concerned about it. I think they need to get rid of him or her, speaking of Joe or Kamala. Uh, but no one in modern history has ever said, like, we're not going to renominate the president for a second term. Charlie Krager, a cybersecurity policy analyst and foreign affairs desk officer in the executive office at the White House, tells O'Keefe, I had a meeting with Michelle Obama. Someone asked her, will you ever run for office? And she said no, emphatically. She was like, I've seen all the stuff they did to my husband and – or." All the stuff my husband has had to go through, and that does not interest me. Uh, Kamala Harris uh, hemorrhages black staff. She can't keep black staff. They quit on her in mass, according to the cybersecurity expert. She will be the vice president nominee. There was a debate about removing her from the ticket, but sadly they didn't. That's or she's not popular. But you can't remove the first black lady to be vice president from the presidential ticket. Uh, like, what kind of message are you going to send to like African American voters? People would be like, "What the fuck?" Sorry. Pardon my English. Uh, like, she's a woman uh, and she's multiracial. Again, quoting Charlie Krager. 
So the fact of the matter is, oh, and go watch James O'Keefe whole, O'Keefe's whole video. It's a very epic takedown of Joe Biden. A lot of people were saying that they were going to replace Biden with, like, Gavin Newsom or Michelle Obama. Gavin Newsom is horrendously unpopular nationally. He would not be able to beat Donald Trump, not nearly as closely as Joe Biden is going to lose to Donald Trump. The Democrats kind of screwed themselves not pulling the 25th Amendment option early on in Biden's career. They screwed the pooch on this one, and now they're stuck. They either replace Joe and or Kamala and guarantee they're going to lose, or they run Joe and Kamala and guarantee they're going to lose. Everything's coming up, Trump. Thanks for watching.